Hey everyone, it's Sam and welcome back to my channel. I forgot to film an intro, but in today's video I will be trying out the new L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'll be wearing it for a good 10 hours and giving you guys a full honest review on it, so keep on watching. Alright, so to start off I'm going to use the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. I got this in one of my boxy charms. Um, it's a pretty good primer. It's very smooth and really does kind of just blur out my pores. I'm just kind of mostly using this in my t-zone. I don't really put primer like anywhere else. So now going in with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. So I picked up the shade 415 Rose Ivory. Um, it claims to be breathable, buildable coverage up to 24 hour fresh complexion. So we will see about that. I will not be testing this out for a full 24 hours. I just don't have time for that. <laughs> um, but right now it is 10, 12, and I will be um, going to work in at 12 and being at work until about 8. So get home by like 8.30. So. so I'll be wearing this foundation for a good like 10 hours, which I feel like is a very long day. I mean, realistically, like what foundation looks great at the end of a long day like that, but we will see because this claims to be 24 hours. So I will pump this on the back of my hand. It looks like it will be a pretty decent match, maybe a little too dark, but they really didn't have a very good selection when I went to Walmart. It'll work. Um, a lot of the lighter shades were already sold out, so this was kind of like the closest match that I could find so and Ulta was actually completely sold out of this so I was like well we'll check out Walmart Target whatever else so right off the bat it is a pretty light to medium coverage I'd say I mean we can try to build it up and see if it does what it claims um, but yeah I mean it really doesn't say on here like if it's full light medium coverage it just kind of says buildable so whether it's matte glowy you know I can't really tell I feel like it's more of just like a natural finish like more of a satiny it's definitely not really matte I mean it's, I, I do have a little bit of a shine um, but it's nothing bad because I mean I usually do go for more of a matte foundation just because I am naturally pretty oily but it doesn't seem too bad it does look really pretty and natural on the skin compared to like my really matte foundations this does look more like skin like if that makes sense why am I red I don't know okay anyway so I am just gonna pump a tiny bit onto the back of my hand and just take like a little brush and kind of get the hard to reach places just kind of like around my nose ring and Stuff like that because I cannot get my beauty blender to like get in the crevices of my nose <laughs> and then I'm just gonna kind of spot and build up the coverage just kind of on some problem areas that I have and see I mean it covers it decently I'm not saying like it makes it completely covered but I don't know. I've been actually trying to find like a not super full coverage foundation and more of like a skin like one just to wear at work because I feel like no matter what at the end of the day it's just gonna look disgusting so I'd rather have one that just looks more like natural and more like my skin. So yeah I mean I would say it's buildable. I mean it definitely doesn't get to be like full coverage. Like when I think of full coverage foundation like Kat Von D Locket foundation I mean that stuff is like that's like full coverage. I do have like texture and like dry patches right here that it kind of clings to a little bit, but it's nothing like, I don't know, it's nothing bad. I think it does oxidize for sure because when I put it on my hand it looked like a pretty good match, but now I do kind of have a stain on my hand that looks orangey-ish. So it does look like it kind of oxidizes a little bit, so maybe go up a shade. So I'm just going to kind of finish my face. I probably won't put in much of like my eye eyebrow stuff like that but I will go in with the NARS radiant concealer just because I do know that this wears pretty well on my skin like it doesn't 
crease or anything throughout, I mean, a little bit, but concealer doesn't, but I mean, it doesn't break apart throughout the day, so I figured I would go in with this one, and I'm not going to really put this, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'm not really going to put this that many places on my face, just kind of, I feel like right here, I don't really want to go in here, because I just want to see how the foundation wears, honestly. I'll just kind of spot here. Okay, that'll be good. And then also on my eyelids. And then I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camel concealer. I have too light of a color, it's fair warm. But I just like to use this just to like highlight a little bit more here and you have to work really fast with this concealer because it dries fast and plus I have too light of a shade so I need to like hurry <laughs> alright so now that I have my foundation and concealer on I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and then I will kind of do some updates throughout the day maybe only an update at the end of the day I don't know we'll see what happens at work see how much time I have so 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 far so good I will see you guys after I finish the rest of my makeup all right guys I am back from doing the rest of my makeup um, I just threw on some eyebrows mascara a little bit of lipstick and then my, obviously my face products I didn't really do any eyeshadow at all like I didn't do anything <laughs> but you guys I so far really like this foundation it's really like not settling into any of like my fine lines like my smile lines um, a little bit onto my forehead lines but that's just because I do this a lot when I'm doing my makeup and yeah I really like it so far so I'm excited to see how it wears throughout the day um, I've heard again really good things about this foundation so I have pretty high expectations yeah so I guess I will just kind of hopefully I'll have time to update you throughout the day if I'll for sure do it at like 8 30 when I get home from work and just kind of update you guys but so far so good um, I'm excited to see how it wears so yeah I guess I will just go about my day and I will see you guys later okay guys so I am back from work and it is about 8 35 or so um, I didn't touch up with powder at all while I was at work which I probably should have but I just didn't really think of it so just taking a closer look I am pretty shiny um, I mean just really in my t-zone for the most part for sure on my forehead I'm pretty shiny right here here I have little tiny hairs all over my face just because every day I come home from work with hair all over my face but I am gonna touch it up now and just kind of see how it reacts with the powder after I'm pretty oily and greasy so I mean with how like the makeup still looks it's not horrible I am shiny but that's just like with every foundation I use and this isn't the worst foundation I've ever used is it the best could be I don't know We'll keep playing with it, but I am going to take just some Maybelline Super Stay powder and just lightly kind of blot some of the shininess a little bit and see how it looks. That instantly actually like really helped. I mean, yes, obviously around my nose it's breaking up. I did blow my nose a couple times today, so it's gonna rub off the makeup. Um, honestly, it's looking pretty decent. I'm not mad at it. I mean, for being at work for eight hours, and I what time did I put this on? Like 10 or so? This honestly looks pretty darn good. I'll give you guys a closer look here. I don't know if you'll really be able to see it much, but um, just kind of around here it broke up a little bit and honestly that's pretty much it not too much um, a little bit here but I think it looks still pretty I feel like it could last I don't know five mm, I want to go five maybe like a couple more hours but yeah you guys that was the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation do I think that it's worth it yes for being like a bre what do they call it I think a breathable breathable coverage I really like it. I mean, I honestly think it lasted. 
what I think it lasts 24 hours probably not but what foundation does um, I'll definitely be using this still I might pick up a lighter shade just so it matches me a little bit more even though this isn't like a matte foundation I'm actually really impressed with it because I usually only use pretty matte foundations so I am happy so thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Comment down below what foundation is your favorite of all time, your holy grail. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to find mine. I mean, this could be a possibility, but we'll see. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos of me. I try to post at least once a week, maybe twice, um, just kind of depending on my work schedule. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.